how often does bullying happen at school? A lot. Like every day, every week? Every day. Multiple times a day? Yes, like a hundred times a day. I don't want to go to school because I'm nervous I'm going to get beat up again. More than 25 videos like those showing incidents of what seemed to be physical assault on the grounds of Elmira City Schools were sent to 18 News by students during the 2021-2022 school year, many of who say they were afraid of going to school like the seventh grader who goes to a middle school in the district. 18 News wanted to see the district's bullying report that all New York schools are required to submit. We filed a Freedom of Information request to get it, and that report obtained this past week states that the Elmira City School District reported a total of 12 incidents for the 2021-2022 school year. Bullying happens every day, every month. Five incidents of bullying and seven incidents of assault was reported for the entire school district, comprised of eight elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. I spoke with several parents and students during the 2021-2022 school year about the bullying they claim is going on within this school district. The students' faces are blurred out to protect their identity and privacy. This seventh grader had a black eye when I was interviewing him in January. I just got like punched in the stomach so I fell to the ground and then they stumped on me, kicked me. Another student I spoke to in February described what happened to her just a couple days know, before the interview. I was getting chased and I was trying to go away from her. And then I got stopped and I punched. I blacked out and started bawling my eyes out. It just messed up. Some people end up in the hospital even. One mother getting emotional when describing the time her son was hospitalized. As for my son, the boy swung him and hit his head first into the wall got a big old goose egg, choked him, and he was out of school for a week because of it. He got a concussion. The school, they played it off like it was nothing. Even his doctor said he doesn't understand why the school didn't press charges on that kid. All the parents I spoke with reported these incidents. New York state law requires all public schools to document incidents occurring on school property. Incidents are broken down into categories, two of which are assault and bullying. Under New York state law, a school must report an incident of assault if the act committed by a person 10 years of age or older would constitute a felony. The first listed felony under Article 120 of the penal law says a person is guilty of assault in the third degree when a person causes physical injury to another person with intent. Two seventh graders held him down and started pounding on him. This isn't the first time and it probably won't be the last time. I fear a lot for his safety. Under New York state law, a school must report an incident of bullying if there is a creation of a hostile environment by threats, intimidation, or abuse. One individual started a rumor about her. Other people who are threatening her at school, threatening to have friends of theirs, beat her up, this and that. She don't know when it's going to be coming, things like that. That interferes with a student's educational performance or mental and physical well-being. He doesn't want to go to certain classes or he doesn't want to go to school at all because certain kids are in his class. So no, he's not getting a good education. Or would cause physical injury to a student and cause a student to fear his or her physical safety. 18 News reached out to the Elmira City School District Superintendent Hillary Austin. She would not agree to an interview for this story, but provided a statement that said they, quote, investigated over 300 discipline conduct referrals in areas of student altercations as well as bullying that did not meet the criteria for a report, but did require discipline consequences. The statement also outlined that, quote, in addition to our internal processes, an independent reviewer that is not an employee of the Elmira City School District works with district staff to evaluate the specifics of each potential report and helps determine if it meets the state provided thresholds. Of the referrals that fell under altercations, seven met the criteria for the state category of assault, five met the criteria under the category of discrimination, harassment, and bullying. In an additional statement regarding the 25-plus videos obtained by 18 News, they said, quote, 
The district is unable to comment on individual student discipline. The district invites students and or parents who have videos or documentation that they would like the district to be made aware of to reach out to their building principal or district administration. I've had um, meetings with the principal, the assistant principal. I've called the guidance counselor. I don't trust that the teachers will keep my daughter safe. I've told her she's have to defend herself. In an interview with the superintendent in November of 2021, 18 News tried to show her the videos of assault happening in her schools, but she refused to look at the screen. I went to the principal a few times, but he hasn't really did anything. So I haven't been to the principal's office in a while. New York state law explicitly states whether a student is being bullied or has witnessed another student being bullied, he or she needs to feel empowered, reporting such an incident to school faculty or staff. It seems like every time I go to the school to talk to somebody about it, they want to just beat around the bush. We're going to take care of it. We'll straighten it out. Well, they don't even give us the option to write a report to this person. They never tell us we can write a report. New York state law requires each school to provide all students, school employees, and parents with a notification of the process by which they may report harassment, bullying, and discrimination. They have not given me paperwork. They have not told me about any paperwork. Nothing. New York state law also requires school employees who witness or are told about harassment or bullying to notify the principal or superintendent and to file a written report within two days. Teachers have seen you getting bullied, have they done anything about it? No. They have not called me or my husband about this fight. She said, oh, I can't tell you about the fight. You should have been able to tell me what happened because my son has bruises all over him, scratches and a black eye. Child psychologist Nora Balladarian says bullying can impact children in many different ways. It causes depression and it causes fear and it causes terror, but it can also interfere, I think, with everything else, with the ability to learn, to retain information, to even have dreams about, you know, what am I going to be when I grow up? That gets uh, stultified when you're living in terror. All parents and students are asking for is for the school to do something about it. I give my daughter credit for going to school day in and day out and going through this. I can't imagine. I can't. No. I just wish they cared more. On November 15th and 16th, we once again invited the school superintendent to interview. We offered to put the entire interview unedited on our website, and we again invited her to come see the videos before our story aired. All of our requests were turned down. Reporting from Elmira City School District, Ria Cha, 18 News.